Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I haven't made a how-to video in quite some time, so I figured I would do a how-to video. Obviously, judging by the, the screenshot that you're seeing right now, I'm going to be talking about Snap. Uh, if some of you don't know what that is, some of you do know what it is. Snap is an application that you can use to install Android apps onto your BlackBerry. I personally needed Snap because it makes it a lot easier instead of having to go search for all the APKs myself. I could just use Snap, it's already got them all there, and I need it for one of my programs that's Android and iPhone only, or sorry, iOS only, so I had to install Snap on my BlackBerry in order to use my work applications, which is alright, it's not a big deal. So anyway, enough with the jibber jabber, uh, I want to get straight into it. So you're going to go to redlightoflove.com forward slash snap. Uh, if you can't remember all the links or you don't want to type them in, it's okay because I will link everything in the description box below. So you're just going to go here and you're going to click download the latest version, which in this case is 2.0. Okay. After you download it, remember obviously where you downloaded it, you have to go into the Google Chrome Web Store. From there, you're going to search the store, you're just going to type in Blackberry, nothing else, just Blackberry. And then scroll down a little bit, you're going to see extensions. And then the second one should be the playbook, the VB10 Playbook App Manager. Uh, it obviously works for both, but Playbook is not officially out to uh, version 10. So obviously you can't do this on a Playbook. It only works with VB10 phones only. So you're going here you'll see rated on mine because I already obviously downloaded it. Yours you're going to see free, so you just click free and download it. It installs the extension itself onto Google Chrome. Uh, and it's right here actually and that's the next step that you have to go to you have to go to this application here now yours will look a little different you won't have an IP address uh, on there as of right now so what you have to do is you have to go to your phone go into settings and then security and privacy I'll show you a little screenshot quickly so security and privacy right here and then right here you're gonna click on development mode sorry develop yes development mode after that, you have to type in a password. Uh, it could be as it has to be at least four characters long. Uh, it doesn't matter whatever characters you want to put. Go ahead, put them in. But you have to obviously remember it. Then you're gonna go into your VB10 Playbook App Manager options, and you're gonna go to Settings About Network Wi-Fi or USB. Most likely, you'll be using the Wi-Fi, and then IPv4. There you will see an IP address, which is where I got this one from. This is my IP address linked with my network here. And then once you type it in, just save it. After you save it, you'll see this little pop-up over here. It says manage your devices. You're going to click on it. That's a link directly to your phone. There we go. It found it. Uh, you have to type in the password that you typed in when you were making one here with the development mode the exact same password type it in here and it's gonna log in you can always do auto login if you don't want to always type it in that's fine it retrieved the list of installed apps so now here it might be a little overwhelming for some people it's alright I'm here to guide you guys through it you're gonna click on install apps right here once you do that you have to go to wherever you saved your snap file the first file that we downloaded you're gonna click it and you're gonna click open here's where I'm not gonna click open because I already have snap installed on my Blackberry once you click open right here where it says BB 10 playbook app manager that's gonna change it's gonna say it's installing snap let it install don't touch it until it says everything has been successfully done once it's done you can just verify that it's on your phone by opening up the lock screen. There will be a lock screen now if you didn't have one before with your developer mode turned on. It's just for privacy and security issues. Um, and then you're gonna check your very last page. It most likely will be there on your phone and it'll say snap. That's it, you've installed snap. You just open it up. Once you open it up, you can download a, a vast variety, variety of apps from the Google Play Store. Anyway guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.